All right, so you've decided that you want to homeschool. So what comes next? Um, when I decided that I was going to homeschool my kids, I did a lot of research because that's just the kind of person I am. Um, I wanted to make sure, first of all, that legally I could homeschool them. I wanted to make sure that I followed whatever rules there were. And I wanted to also make sure that they weren't going to miss out on the things that were important to us if I was homeschooling them. Um, the first step that I took when I decided we need to think about homeschooling was to think about did I have time for it? Uh, could we afford it? You know, were there other options out there that maybe were better? Than homeschooling. Um, at the point that we considered homeschooling, I was already a stay-at-home mom. So we weren't going to lose out on my income. Um, my husband works very, very hard to provide for us and does a very good job of it. So I'm very blessed, very lucky to be able to stay at home uh, even before we homeschooled. Obviously, being stay-at-home mom, um, I was still responsible for the house. Um, I did have my own businesses. I had two businesses that I ran from my house. Could I homeschool my kids and still run my businesses? Or was I going to have to stop working altogether? Um, I had to think about that before we started. Um, could we afford it? Uh, I mean, I had friends that homeschooled and they homeschooled box method. They purchased an entire curriculum from a company and it was about $900 a year for one kid. I had two kids going into homeschooling. Um, you know, could I afford that? Not really. Um, so then I had to look at other options. And I was really, really pleasantly surprised at how many options there were out there and how many of them were affordable. Um, I was surprised at how many options were free. Yes, you can homeschool for free. Um, I did legal research. Um, you know, what were the requirements? Did I have to have a certain education? You know, what sort of record keeping had to be done? Um, I checked out the HSLDA, the Homeschool Legal Defense Association, I believe. Um, I will post a link below in the description. They have a spot where you can choose the state that you live in and find out what the requirements are for homeschooling in your state. Some states, uh, there's no legal rules as far as homeschooling. Some states have certain requirements. Some states are very specific on what you have to take care of in order to homeschool. Um, I will do a video on the requirements for homeschooling in Georgia because that's where we're from. Um, so I went through and I met the requirements for schooling in Georgia. I found affordable ways for me to teach what I wanted the kids to learn. Um, I figured out ways for us to socialize, to have a local co-op, a group of people that we spent time with on a regular basis so my kids weren't missing out on the fun stuff and the hanging out with other kids their age. Um, I, I thought all of that through before we started. And we actually ended up using an online 
free public school for the past two years as I did more research and more planning. Um, I, had a, I had a toddler at home. I wasn't ready to plan lessons myself. Um, so we took two years with the public online school. And in the end, it was still public school. They still taught to the test. The focus was on getting those good scores at the end of the year. And I had a problem with that. I wanted my kids to learn specific things and I didn't want it to be all about that test at the end of the year. And so that was a big reason that we chose to go a different route this year. And if you guys subscribe to my channel, um, you can see the other videos, you'll see the curriculum that I chose. I'm going to do another video to kind of explain uh, the style that we're going with. We are not classical, we are not traditional. Um, I, I'll, I'll make another video to go over all of that. But make sure you guys check the requirements for your state. And if you meet those requirements, if you can meet those requirements, um, if you have the time, if you can afford it, if it fits you, go for it. Don't be afraid. Um, it's scary to begin with, but there are so many of us out there that are making it work, that are excelling at it, and even though it's scary to begin with, it's not as hard as it seems. And there's lots and lots of help out there. So do what's best for your family, find what fits for you, and go for it.